Hello ladies and gentlemen, Big Thunderman here bringing you a live narrated Age of Empires 3 game. I'm narrating this live. Um, it's me against a sergeant. Uh, I'm going to be India one more time. He's Jap Japanese. Indian's Japanese. Um, it's going to be a tough game on Indochina as per request. And this game is going to be off. Right away I'm going to grab that treasure there. Um, I'm going to use both explorers to grab it as fast as I can. I am going to aggro Fort Rush. This is a... Um, this is a... A uh, map with no starting resource crates, so that's actually going to give me a huge advantage in terms of uh, being able to uh, rush quickly and have a better impact because because there um, because there are no starting crates, he won't be able to age as fast. So my fast age up will actually look a lot better than uh, possibly expected. Um, we're going to take a look at my deck in a minute. I want to uh, get these guys to food ASAP. Um, this herd's actually really close, so there's not really a point to uh, trying to make it far away. Um, there we go. So I'm going to send one explorer one way, other explorer the other way. To get this guy on the other side there. Uh, who are you? I'm going to get you... Oh, wood treasure. I'm going to grab the wood treasure. Um, what are you doing? Let's get you going. Um, there's two or three river crossings or something like that, so I want to make sure I can grab both of those if possible. Let's see. Any treasures I can grab? Uh, 80 coin, possibly in a minute. Not right now the most important treasure for me to be grabbing. Um, is that a monitor lizard? I can kill that fairly easily. Alrighty. Oh, no. Wrong, wrong one. Uh, oh, crap. Idle villager. Alrighty. Um, here we go. Keep scouting out down and around here. 418 food. Good. Um, okay. Alrighty. Tons of herds on my side. That's good. There's also a lot of berry bushes and herds. That'll be very good for the Jap Japanese player. Um, alrighty. Oh, I keep having idle villagers. Really foolish of me. Alrighty. Um, let's get you going there. Let's get you going there. Um, alrighty. So right away, I'm going to now that I have all my villagers, I'm gonna go get my deck. It's called Wet Rush. Notice it's a lot of a. Uh, First age improvements, second age shipments, and then third and fourth age just to close out the game. Also, I know from experience, by the way, that I'm not going to be able to build on their side of the map. It's kind of a little bit difficult to. So I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm aware of that. I don't know how else to say that. And right away, the minute I get 800 food, I am going to move them over and going to start building my fort with my set boys. My first card is going to be. Um, Distributionism or whatever it's called. You're being built. All right, now that you're being built, I'm gonna go send distributionism. I'm gonna just walk through his town. Um, okay, so he is sending a dock rickshaw. If we can kill that, we're in great shape. Or just beat it to wherever it's going and uh, burn it really fast. All right, it's just being built. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get it in time, but I can get that shipment. I think. Um, he's attacking me with his settlers. I don't think that's wise. Oh crap! I, I should be making villagers. Damn it! Alrighty, alrighty. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm actually a nervous wreck when I play this game. So, just FYI. Alrighty. So he's gonna be fishing. That's gonna be very, very eh, bad. Good for me. I'm gonna have to be very, very aware of that. Um, get you there. There we go. You start gathering food. Alrighty. So we're gonna sh immediately start to attempt to get some proper gameplay going on here. Okay, I don't have enough to build a, another house yet. I really need to, though. Um, oh, I do have enough now. Alrighty. Um, let's get another house going. Um, I don't know if I need nine on wood. I'm going to change two to food to balance out my economy. I do want to start to fish, but I do have a card that allows me to send uh, two... Uh, that allows me to send two military units. Two military units. That's the word I'm looking for. So I want to get that off as soon as possible. Um, he doesn't have any boat producing ability so I should be able to send my uh, two boat card right there and destroy his boats without him having invested in uh, defensive boats I think that's just my suspicion 
and I'm gonna have to try to get this rush as early and as fast as possible because um I need to get if he's focusing on boats and an economic game then I need to be able to get the rush so fast and powerful that I kind of uh, negate the economic advantage he's going for so that's what we're doing here um let me make sure villager production keeps up not much gold so far for me that is not a good thing I think my first card upon aging will be set boys um let me see yeah, I need to send sepoys. I'm actually just gonna start walking over. I'm gonna make the one sepoy I can actually, and keep that going. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just start pressuring with those two sepoys. I don't really feel like I have another choice. Um, maybe I can catch his wonder being built and attack him off guard. I don't know until I can get that shipment. There we go. Five sepoys immediately being sent. Uh, I'm gonna send them right there. Can't afford to make any more sepoys though. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna just walk through his town. Look around. Just I want to keep scouting, keep the pressure on him. This is a, a point of the game where it is a make or break. Can I get another sepoy? Excellent. I can get one more sepoy. Um, I'm hopefully gonna just start pressuring him. I need to take advantage of the situation I have right now, um, being an age faster. So let's start shooting. No, 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 no. Wrong button. Wrong button. Oh, okay. Didn't do it. All right, good. I accidentally pressed a B instead of V. Uh, B or whatever. That is the um. That is the uh, villager age up button instead of the other one, or that's a villa or B is the garrison villager button. Alrighty, so here I'm picking off some settlers. Good, good. All right, I know where his wood settlers are. I got those set boys also. Um, I'm gonna be able to make two more set boys, I think. Alrighty, keep up production there. No population room. Okay, here we go. Make two, make two houses. Okay, alrighty. So I'm still in good shape here. I know that he was chopping wood down here. Hopefully, I can kind of circle it around a little bit and just attack him. Um, I've killed a few villagers. If I can kill some more, obviously that'll be great. No more villagers over there. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Keep getting those there. Um, what do I want to do? I do want to build a dock at some point, but not quite yet. Alrighty. So I do have good pressure on him. His orchard is there. Hopefully I can pick him off a little bit more. Let's see. Um, there we go. Alrighty. Killed another villager. Good. Alrighty. Good. Um, get those set boys there. Alrighty, get those set boys there. Alrighty, um, really showing you here just the fast ability of my rush. The way that India's rush is really, really fast. Alright, got six on food. Need a lot more. Or six on, uh, got six there. I, I, I suspect he's over at these berry bushes. Uh, he's got a lot of pressure on him at this point. My next shipment, by the way, will be, um, the two, uh, warships. Because I need to, um, I need, I need to just capitalize on the fact that he's an age behind. He doesn't have warships. He doesn't have troops. And at this point, he's aged up. But, 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 he just aged up. He doesn't have a barracks. He doesn't have anything yet. So I'm hopefully going to be able to walk into him one more time. Um, he's just walking around the island doing his thing. So definitely giving me a little bit of an ability there to uh, pressure him. Okay, I need to keep up building set boys. Let's add you there. Um... You know what? I'm just going to start burning his town center. I'm going to get the warship soon. Oh, here we go. Here's some, here's his villagers. Alrighty. Maybe we can pick off some more of those. Alrighty. So he's running in. Kill that. Kill that. Uh, the, kill that samurai. Alright. That samurai didn't do anything to me. Uh, going to hopefully make more step boys. Yes, we are. Alrighty. Let's kill that him. Alrighty. I see a tree falling down there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, building a barracks. Can we kill it? Let's burn down that barracks as fast as possible. Shoot that villager before it goes in. Good. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to keep making more set boys. Okay. Oh, by this point, by the way, i got to make sure my economy stays very good, very sharp. I'm constantly getting villagers. I'm looking for a herd. No herd, no herd, damn it. No herd, no herd. Alright, berry bushes. Next best thing. Um, What are we doing here? Burning down that. Okay. Let's kill him. Alrighty. Got to burn that down. Got to go destroy his boats. Got to destroy his boats. Got to take advantage. Got to knock out his fishing, by the way. If it sounds like I'm talking like a madman, it is because I am. Alrighty, let's send uh, some of you guys to kill, some of you to destroy. I want to make sure I can destroy that barracks before any men come out. There we go, I did. Let's kill those sentries, and at this point, he is in a world of trouble. Sepoy Rush has been successful, and now I'm going to go for his town center. Hopefully, town center combined with the boats here to destroy fishing. Alrighty, uh, villagers fairly working on. Oh, there's some hunts. Alright, I'm going to send villagers to go here to keep the hunt pressure up, and at this point, all right, he sent five Aggie Sherry's, but I definitely got the first shot off there. Um, definitely in trouble. He didn't really get a hit me. Kind of screwed up there, actually, in case you're wondering. Uh, it's definitely a screw-up to send your units when the building's under attack far out to go attack. 
by by the simple virtue of me having those units there to attack well or to attack instantly and get the first shot off really gave me an advantage gonna keep making set boys and here we go going to start raping his fishing sorry if that it's offensive I don't mean to be offensive it's kind of the war mentality you get into and at this point the game is definitely in some big trouble for him his fishing which I'm guessing was a majority of his economy is now down and out alrighty let's see uh, can I make more set boys alrighty trying to make more set boys oh there we go got some more on the way town center is only halfway done but his boats are his fishing fleet is pretty much in trouble um, definitely utilize my advantages of being India very well at this point in time. I don't know what's attacking me. Did he send the card that allows uh, boats to attack? He must have sent the card that allows boats to attack. Even if I don't finish off all his boats this instant, I'm still in a great sh sh uh, space. What can I send now? I'm going to send some Sowars, I think. Um, how close is that town center to being done? Alrighty, not as close as it should be, to be quite frank with you. Alrighty, um... Let me kill him. I don't want him to pressure me. All right, so he does have a barracks coming at this point. Um, do, 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 do. Let's keep making villagers. Remember, villager production definitely wins the game. Oh, I need more food. Darn it. All righty, so kill those Uh Town center still under attack. If the town center gets knocked out, the game really swings to my control. I'm going to send food there, by the way. That way I can keep villager production stable-ish more. I don't know. Oh, there's elephants. We'll send some villagers there to kill those elephants. You should always herd towards you unless you are under attack and don't want to. No, but seriously, you should always do that. Alrighty, so they should just start attacking. There are five more set boys to go. Let's get those guys to go do their thing. Alrighty, that town center, by the way, is so close to being done. I can almost taste it. Oh, oh okay, so he's got some Yumi archers. Let's take those guys out. Let's just finish burning his town center, actually, while those... Yumi archers are eaten alive by the Sowars. Um, he's done a very good job at this point, by the way, of fighting off the rush. It's going to be important for me to um, important for me at this point to get that town center down in time, or get that town center down. And he resigned. I honestly wasn't expecting that. I thought he was about to fight me off, but he must have been a little bit worse off than I realized. Alrighty. Um, I didn't go a dock or fishing there just because I was trying so hard to rush. I was able to destroy all his fishing boats. Huge advantage there. And that really, I think, screwed him up. Let's see. Whew, that was a tense game. Uh, look at it. We were very close in uh, military. Very close in, uh, or I mean, economy. Military, I definitely owned him, but very close in economy. Let's see. At the end of the game, let's see how much resources he had left. He only had 500 resources left. Alrighty. So that explains why he quit. He didn't think he could fight, so that was okay. Um, 29 to 31. I it really got the tempo there already. And timeline villager unit count. You can really see that his economy is growing fast because he sent the um, boats. Anyway, I know this is actually wow. This is actually a very short match, but um, it was per request on Indochina. I rushed. I won. Um, the two boat shipment there really just won the game for me. I wouldn't have been able to win without it. Just use some other shipments smart. I got that food there. Looked like I was about to start gathering it. So anyway, good game. Thanks for watching. Kind of insulted this guy. I didn't tell me GG, but whatever. Um please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to do British next, but if you have a map request, I will do it. Just like I did Indochina. If you have a map request, I will do it. And if you have anything else, let me know and I will try to oblige you if it is at all possible. Thank you for watching Big Thunderman. Out.